Hi my lovely people! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, a warm welcome to you as well. So today I'm here with a highly requested video that I have been meaning to do for a while now. I finally got the chance to do it. I am going to review the entire Luby World collection fragrances and I'm going to rank them from my least favorite to my most favorite and I'm going to give you the reasons why I'm going to talk about the fragrance notes and accords and why they smell the way they do and also their performance everything that you need to know about the entire Luby World collection the original seven fragrances of course so there are seven fragrances or the parfum fragrances in the Luby World collection and I have all seven of them. Also, I have the three Entente's Luby World collection fragrances which I already reviewed and that review is already up on my channel. I will link it up here and down in the description box. You guys, I have quite the giveaway in this video that you're gonna absolutely love. It is of course a Christian Louboutin Luby World giveaway. You know, I'm not going to tell you right now, but you're going to have to wait towards the end of this video to find out what it is that I'm going to give away. It is going to be something really good. Trust me. So stay tuned until the end of the video. I will announce what it is that I'm giving away and how to enter the giveaway at the end of the video. So I'm going to actually review for you the original seven Luby World Collection fragrances and rank them in this video. So if you want to hear my thoughts on them and how I rank them, just keep watching. So before I introduce you each of the seven Luby World Collection fragrances, the order Parfum, fragrances. I want to tell you a little bit about the collection. So Christian Louboutin created this collection apparently inspired by his dreams, his childhood dreams to his adulthood, various different dreams that he had in his life. I gotta tell you Christian Louboutin sounds like a fascinating man. He is someone who is very creative obviously and he has all these dreams. Even his dreams are super fascinating and I will tell you a little bit about his dreams behind behind these uh, fragrances. It's quite fascinating. So I have all seven of them beautifully lined up here in the order of my preference. So let's talk about them starting with my least favorite. So you guys, I love all seven of these fragrances. So when I say least favorite, I just mean least favorite out of the seven of them. Doesn't mean that I don't like the seventh one or the sixth one, you know what I mean. So yeah, it just means that they are my least favorite out of the seven. So the Luby World Collection fragrances all come in this gorgeous red lacquer box. It is quite beautiful and inside is the is the kind of foam bedding that the fragrance comes in and this is from Luby Funk obviously and it comes with this travel cap as you can see in here this is a travel cap that you can put on the fragrance if you don't want to travel with that gorgeous ornate cap and break it or something so yeah that's a gorgeous lacquer box that it, the fragrances come in each of them so let's start with number seven so at number seven spot, I have here Christian Louboutin Luby Funk. Before I start talking about the fragrance composition, I want to bring your attention to this gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. Look at this cap, you guys. All of these Christian Louboutin bottles, they have these weighted, really hefty, you know, gorgeous, substantial caps. And inside even is, is red. It's red lacquer inside. It's the attention to detail that really make something superior you know and as you can see here the top of the pineapple is actually a bunch of Christian Louboutin heels with the red soles as you can see so it's a bunch of heels that are the top of the pineapple and he has incorporated the iconic Christian Louboutin stiletto into many of the caps here as you will see next when I show you the rest of them isn't that stunning and these come in this gorgeous 
red lacquer box that I showed you already. Inside you get the little travel cap. If you don't want to travel with these gorgeous ornate caps and don't want to damage, you know, in case they get damaged, then you can just put the travel cap and you can travel with them. But I usually decant these fragrances, you guys. I don't like to travel with the entire bottle in case I drop them or break them in some way. They're glass, obviously. So yeah, so that's the story behind the, the bottle itself. So the Christian Louboutin's dream that inspired this fragrance, whether it's daydreams or dreams, it's really about Brazilian carnival, you know, the festival carnival. So with the, you know, like the fruits and everything, and you will see in the the image right here it's portrayed his dream he's inspired by carnival the beautiful celebration of life the joyous celebration of life with dancing and everything so he wanted this fragrance to be like a joyous invitation to dance and celebrate life itself and it's something very dear to Christian Louboutin dancing is something very dear to Christian Louboutin apparently especially samba dancing so that's kind of what inspired this fragrance for him so the nose behind this fragrance is Nicolas Bilou I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Now, this one is my least favorite for several reasons. One, it doesn't perform as well as some of the other Luby World fragrances. My favorite ones from the collection are ones that perform really well as well. So this one doesn't last on my skin very long. It lasts for about two to three hours and then it becomes a skin scent. And on my clothes, it lasts longer, much longer, I would say five hours, five, six, uh, which is pretty good actually. But on my skin, it doesn't really last very long. It also doesn't project as well as some of the other Luby World collection fragrances. So that's one of the reasons. The other reason is simply the scent profile. Um, this scent is very, what can I say, ordinary to me. I have smelled scent profiles like this before. I didn't feel like I had to spend $300 to buy this fragrance to get this scent profile. So I don't feel like it's quite worth the money, the price. This is a luxury designer fragrance house, as you guys know, and the fragrances are quite expensive. Each of these fragrances is $300. So for the price, I don't think this is a a bang for the buck, you know what I mean? So let me spray this first and then I will tell you about the scent profile, the, the composition and everything. Let me spray this first. Again, guys, this is a pleasant, beautiful scent. I just don't think it's unique enough. So this is pretty much a very fruity, floral scent. This one, Luby Funk. Like it's got this big juicy burst of fruity freshness about it. There is a hint of patchouli which is not at all overpowering. You can in fact barely smell the patchouli in here. Uh, there are some woody notes in here. I can barely pick up the spices in here. They're almost unnoticeable in this fragrance. What you smell the most is that rose. There's rose in this fragrance. It's one of the florals that's in this fragrance. You can smell the rose with juicy fruits. Really, that's what you smell mostly. The rose in here smells quite fresh. So as you guys know, Christian Louboutin did not release more than three fragrance notes for each of these fragrances in the Louis World collection. It's the same with this fragrance. So the three notes that are revealed are blackcurrant in the opening, Turkish rose in the middle, and patchouli in the base. Now that's really quite strange because yes, blackcurrant is one of the most dominant fragrance notes in here. You can literally smell that juicy burst of fruity freshness that you get from blackcurrant, you know, in the opening. Definitely, it opens with a huge juicy fruity burst. Yeah, I couldn't quite say that it was Turkish rose actually until I looked at the, the fragrance composition. At first when I smelled it, it didn't smell like Turkish rose to me but apparently that's what's in it, Turkish rose. And then in the base, that patchouli, not, again, not very dominant. There's a slight hint of earthiness to this fragrance from the patchouli, but 
it's not one of those like super strong almost edible smelling patchouli if you know what I mean it is a nice fragrance but I don't know if I would call it super unique so this is Christian Louboutin Luby Funk at number seven spot so on number six spot I have a fragrance here that's quite rosy. This is the rose fragrance of the collection, although Luby Funk has rose as well, but the rose in here is quite, quite prominent. That is the basically the main player of this fragrance, the star of the show, so to speak. So this one is Christian Louboutin Luby Du. So take a look at this bottle, you guys. So this is their Sweet Cat Lucky Charm. This fragrance is supposed to be the lucky charm of the collection. This is supposed to represent, you know, the in the Chinese culture, I believe the cat represents uh, a luck, good luck and good fortune. So the cat is holding in its paws a Christian Louboutin Rouge Louboutin lipstick. So you can see the red lipstick and it matches the, the little uh, cat ears here that, that are also red. So this is supposed to be like high on mischief, this fragrance. It's supposed to bring you luck and good fortune. Uh, that's kind of what's inspired Christian Louboutin to create this fragrance. It's supposed to be like a mood booster, this fragrance. It's supposed to um, kind of give you confidence. So that's kind of fascinating. This one is definitely a, a super rosy fragrance. You can smell the rose the most in this fragrance. There is that juicy strawberry in this fragrance that kind of gives it these sort of juicy fresh vibes. There's also cedar wood in the fragrance in the base so those are the three notes that are revealed uh, for this fragrance so yeah there's definitely like a playfulness about this fragrance so let me spray this you guys ah uh, this is a beautiful beautiful rose fresh rose with fresh fruity vibes that gorgeous strawberry the juiciness of the strawberries really there the woodiness, I can barely smell, but mostly what I get is that, you know, fresh, juicy strawberry with that almost kind of synthetic rose that's in here. Uh, it smells really, really good. This one is an interesting one. I really like this one. This is definitely perfect for spring and summer. This will perform quite well in the summer. Now, performance of this fragrance, again, is not as great as some of the other ones towards the top of my list. Um, it is better than Luby Funk. Um, this lasts for about five hours for me. Yeah, this is, is, is gorgeous. It's a beautiful sort of synthetic, juicy, um, strawberry smelling fragrance. Um, I think it is unique. Is it super unique? No, but it's definitely more unique than Luby Funk, I feel. And I think it's really cute. The story, I think this uh, cat, it's really super adorable. I think the story behind it is cute. And I don't know if it's actually going to bring me good luck and fortune, but I, I love the idea, the concept behind it. So the nose behind this fragrance is Daphne Bouguet. Yeah, this is Christian Louboutin Luby Doo. So on number fifth spot, I have the white floral fragrance of the collection. Yes, you guessed it. This is Christian Louboutin Luby Kiss. Now look at this ornate cap. Look at this gorgeous bottle, you guys. This cap, as you can see, is a skull. This is an ode to Dia de Mortos or Day of the Dead. So as you can see, this Calavera skull is adorned with a bunch of uh, different white florals, like it, it's decorated with white florals like jasmine tubers, which are in the fragrance composition. It is a, a basically a representation of eternal love. That's the inspiration for this fragrance. I don't know if you can see it. There's uh, the Christian Louboutin studs all around it on the cap. And the lips are, of course, red. I love how Christian Louboutin incorporated a bit of red to all of the caps, which is really beautiful, a beautiful pop of color. So this one, like I said, you guys, is one of the more sensual um, fragrances of the collection. This one is very, very creamy, very much a super narcotic, bewitching, uh, white floral fragrance. So let me spray this. Mm. This is, you guys, is one of the most sensual 
fragrances of the collection. This is very narcotic, hypnotic, and bewitching with those gorgeous white florals. This has tuberose and jasmine, and there's musk in the base. Those are the three fragrance notes that are revealed. Um, I have a feeling though there are more white florals in here that aren't revealed. Uh, this is straight up white florals. It's a musky white floral fragrance, very narcotic, very hypnotic, very bewitching. It's definitely very sensual, creamy white floral fragrance. You can smell the tuberose the most, and then kind of secondary, you, you smell the jasmine. Um, it's really hard to tell what else is in this fragrance because there's nothing spicy that I can smell. There's nothing citrus that I can smell in this fragrance. I barely smell any woody notes. There might be woody notes. It's quite, quite a through and through white floral fragrance with a huge dose of musk. Yeah, it's really hard to say what else is in here. There's definitely nothing balsamic about it. There's nothing, nothing too strong. He really wanted this fragrance to be a purely a white floral fragrance with some musk to add some sexiness, some edge to it. Yeah, that tuberose really is the star of this fragrance. Yeah, it's quite beautiful, you guys. So this one is on number five spot. The performance is decent. I would say better than the other two I just talked about. This one lasts for about six hours for me on skin and clothes. Clothes a little bit longer. It's not terrible in performance. Um, I do like to respray this, however. This is a fragrance that's perfect for spring and summer, especially spring, I would say. Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance for spring and summer. You can even wear this a little bit, I would say, in winter, but winter might swallow this up a little bit, you know? So yeah, it will probably shine the most in spring and summer. So the nose behind this fragrance is also Daphne Bouguet. This is Christian Louboutin Luby Kiss. So you guys, those three fragrances are the fresh three fragrances of the collection. Now we're gonna move on to the more opulent fragrances from the collection. Now these are my favorites of the collection. I am not as much into fresh fragrances as I am into opulent fragrances. Obviously, that's why I love these ones that I'm about to talk to you about. So let me start the opulent fragrances on the number fourth spot with the star of the entire collection. At least that's how Christian Louboutin meant for it to be. So this is the star of the collection, which actually even has on the cap something that represents the name of the collection. Obviously, this one is Christian Louboutin Luby Rouge. As you can tell, the cap is a globe, so it's the world, so Luby World Collection. You know, kind of this cap represents the, the whole kind of collection, the idea, idea of the collection. Christian Louboutin's travels and his dreams, you know, that's kind of like what it represents. So this is supposed to be like the star of the entire collection. That's how he meant for it to be. So you can see there's a globe um, for the cap and then there is a Louboutin heel on top of the globe. The heel of it is actually pointing to Paris, uh, to Paris on the globe, which is quite neat if you ask me. That's quite a neat detail. Honestly, that's really what makes something superior, that attention to detail, which is why I love this collection from inside to out. You know, it's, it's gorgeous on the outside, gorgeous on the inside. So yeah, this fragrance is supposed to be like a, a cabaret for the senses. That's how they describe it, the brand. Now, this was inspired by cabarets in Paris, which is where Louboutin opened its first boutique. So it's quite significant for the brand. Now cabarets, this is uh, smooth and spicy and you know, kind of opulent, just kind of like cabarets in Paris. So that's the inspiration behind this fragrance. Like, just like I described, this is a very opulent, smooth, spicy um, fragrance. Let me spray it. Ah, oh, you guys, this fragrance is now starting to get really interesting now. This one is quite a unique fragrance, if you ask me. So this opens with cardamom, there is iris in the middle, and there's vanilla in the base. So those are the three notes revealed anyway of this fragrance. And you can smell the cardamom when you first spray it. You can really smell that sort of kind of, you know, fresh, kind of almost greenish cardamom that's supposed to be actually be a warm spice. But there's something fresh about the cardamom that's in this fragrance. 
and that beautiful powdery iris in the middle really kind of adds a sort of a slight vintage vibe to this fragrance adds powdery delicateness to this fragrance femininity this to this fragrance i would say so far what i've talked about kind of lean feminine you guys and this one leans feminine to to me as well because of that iris note if you ask me this is quite a sort of an oriental spicy cabaret of a fragrance you know just like the brand describes it so this smells quite fascinating quite vintage glamorous you know there's something vintage and glamorous about this fragrance it kind of makes me think of cabarets in the 20s in Paris you know like it's one of those fragrances that smells really glamorous if you ask me so yeah this one uh, performs quite well it lasts quite a few hours on me I would say like seven hours or so um, it doesn't need a lot of respraying you can you know it has very uh, good projection I would say a couple of uh, feet you know two feet or or so so yeah now the performance is gonna get better as I as I go up the list so it is one of my favorites from the collection the nose behind this fragrance is Marie Salamand um, you guys have heard about her and I forget her famous fragrances I'll put them up to you if I remember yeah so that's the nose behind this fragrance it's quite a unique one I love the cardamom I love the the beautiful iris in this fragrance with the vanilla this is the vanilla scent of the collection yeah this one is Christian Louboutin Luby Rouge so now we're moving into the most opulent ones of the collection, the most strong, sort of uh, powerful statement makers of the collection. Now the next one on the list, number three spot, on the third spot of the, of the list is right here. This is Christian Louboutin Luby Crown. You guys, this one, as you can see, is a gorgeous bottle. The cap is a crown with these beautiful red jewels on it. It's just so pretty. I love, love this bottle. It's actually one of my favorite bottles from the collection. Just imagine displaying this on your vanity or your shelves. I mean, this collection looks darn good on my display, you guys. I'm telling you, it looks super luxe and it just really elevates my display if you ask me and it's one of the reasons why I bought the entire collection to be honest I mean they are high quality too I love the scents I love the bottles but anyway look at this bottle uh, the, the, that cap is just really beautiful and ornate and very very super luxurious so you guys the the cap of this bottle is obviously literally a a crown so the story behind this fragrance or the dream behind this fragrance is not so much an inspirational one but rather an aspirational one so this is something that christian louboutin's aspiring to be or do so he apparently has had a long obsession with monarchy any kind of monarchy actually uh, for example he had a childhood dream of being a pharaoh's son for example so obviously he is kind of obsessed with you know royals being royal being born royal he apparently aspires to to see the queen one day and so he designed a fragrance that is worthy of the crown's attention so yeah this is like the the aspiration i guess behind this fragrance so let me spray this fragrance you guys this is one of the most opulent and and intense gorgeous fragrances and i will tell you the notes Ooh, behind this mm. ah this is a beautiful tonka bean fragrance you guys so the fragrance notes in here are patchouli cedarwood and tonka bean opens with patchouli then there's cedarwood and there's tonka bean in the base this is very much a through and through tonka bean scent you can smell the tonka bean in this fragrance Patchouli, yes, it's there, just kind of supporting tonka bean, but it's not overwhelming, it's not in your face. It kind of adds to that sort of delicious uh, gourmet quality of tonka bean. Whenever you add patchouli to a gourmet smelling fragrance note, it kind of almost smells sweet and delicious. You know, patchouli, that kind of is what I've found about patchouli. If you add it to like gourmet fragrances, it almost smells like edible in a kind of a sweet, earthy way. So that's the case in here as well. The cedar is kind of subtle in the in the background. 
and obviously this has other fragrance notes that have not been revealed mm, this is a beautiful beautiful deep tonka bean scent it's kind of a, a fragrance that kind of makes you feel confident you know um gives you kind of a boost of confidence this is quite a unisex fragrance i would say now we're getting into more of the unisex leaning fragrances which is ironic i was thinking about this collection and obviously i'm leaning more towards the unisex fragrances of the collection and also the more opulent ones you know i don't really care so much about the I guess the fresh and more feminine leaning fragrances not as big of a fan as I am of the super opulent unisex um, fragrances from this collection so the nose behind this fragrance is Christophe Reno who is a, a perfumer behind many of the Luby world collection fragrances I believe he also created the Luby Prince one of the Entente fragrances if I remember correctly so yeah this one is Definitely one of my favorites on the number three spot. This one is Christian Louboutin Luby Crown. So now we're down to the top two spots, you guys. So on number two spot, the second favorite of mine in this collection is a beautiful, opulent, oriental fragrance that I absolutely love and it has a fragrance note that I absolutely adore, one of my favorite fragrance notes and should I say one of the oldest fragrance notes in the world too. Yeah, this one is Christian Louboutin Luby Croc and look at this ornate cap you guys you see this ornate cap is such a beautiful ornate cap this is an egyptian obelisk guarded or wrapped around with a crocodile so crocodile is the guardian of the egyptian pyramids and their secrets so yeah that's what's represented here this uh, uh, obelisk also is a, a kind of a representation of christian louboutin you know like the heels it's kind of interpretation of that as well so this is inspired by obviously egyptian history egyptian pharaohs the pyramids and all that that Christian Louboutin apparently used to have this recurring dream as a child that he was the son of a pharaoh in Egypt in in the past thousands of years ago so actually it's really weird this fragrance because of that inspiration turned out to be the most precious fragrance for Christian Louboutin and with one with the most personal meaning to it why because apparently in the recent years Christian Louboutin learned that he was a product of a secret love affair one of his parents is actually Egyptian his father is from Egypt so isn't that kind of crazy that he had this childhood recurring dream that he was the son of a pharaoh so this fragrance actually turned out to be the most meaningful fragrance of the entire collection so so that's the story behind this fragrance which is quite fascinating and look at this ornate cap you guys again you see the red inside that gorgeous crocodile around the the obelisk so let me spray this this one you guys is the most oriental smelling one of the entire entire collection and it's quite quite potent this is a potent fragrance it's super oriental why because of the myrrh that's in this fragrance you guys it's quite balsamic from the myrrh that's in this fragrance because myrrh is a very balsamic balsam note and it's one of the most um, ancient oldest perfume ingredients in the world so myrrh is one of my absolute favorite perfume ingredients because of the fact that it makes fragrances smell super oriental and super sensual just just very alluring so yeah this one has myrrh cyprol oil or nargamotha and then sandalwood in the base that sandalwood is very sensual very creamy adds to that sensuality of this fragrance the cypril oil or nargamotha is a herbally fragrance note that gives it this sort of sexy herbaliness to fragrances like this deepness to fragrance you know this is a very potent deep um oriental potent fragrance you guys one other thing about this fragrance this has a huge dose of amber for sure in this fragrance it's one of the notes that has not been revealed but 
there's no denying that this has a massive dose of amber along with that myrrh in the base. So it's very, very balsamic, very oriental because myrrh smells oriental, also amber smells oriental. It's a fragrance ingredient that they add to fragrances to make fragrances smell oriental. Amber is actually a fantasy fragrance note. It's, it doesn't occur in nature. It's not a natural fragrance ingredient. It's created out of other sort of rest and balsam notes. Um, I told you all about it in my amber fragrances video that I just uploaded. I will link it up here and down in the description box. This is quite the aromatic fragrance. It's very warm. There are some obviously some warm spices in this fragrance that are adding like this beautiful warmness to this fragrance. I'm guessing some warm spices. It could be cinnamon. It could be a little hint of clove. Um, it's hard to say. There are some exotic warm spices though in this fragrance. It's a very aromatic fragrance, very balsamic. And it has quite the bit of, um, and it's woody from the sandalwood and perhaps other woody notes in the fragrance. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, oriental smelling, warm, potent fragrance. It's my second favorite in the collection absolutely adore it. So the nose behind this fragrance is also Daphne Bouguet, which you heard before is the nose behind some of the other fragrances. So yeah, Daphne Bouguet created this one. So this is Christian Louboutin Luby Croc. So on to my number one fragrance from the collection on the number one spot is right here. This is Christian Louboutin Luby Raj. Oh my goodness, you guys, this fragrance. I'll tell you all about it here in a minute, but I wanna talk about this, this bottle first. Look at that gorgeous bottle with that beautiful cap of a tiger wearing a turban, Louboutin turban, and it has this red jewel on the turban, which is amazing. You know, like I said, he incorporated a little bit of red onto every cap of the collection. So this fragrance is inspired by Bollywood and all of its magic, India basically, and Christian Louboutin's dream of being reincarnated as a dignified and exquisite tiger. So that is what the inspiration is behind this fragrance and it's supposed to signify reinventing ourselves, um, you know, kind of recreating our image, reinventing ourselves, sort of like renewal of life type of fragrance. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know about the inspiration behind it, but I'm telling you this fragrance is super sexy the sexiest fragrance if you ask me in this collection oh my goodness this one smells sexy this one is ah oh, wow this one is knock somebody out from drop dead sexiness this powerful fragrance with this leather accord in it is absolutely luxurious and sexy. So you guys, this opens with pink pepper, which is that beautiful, bright, soft spice that I absolutely love in the opening of fragrances. Apparently it invokes feelings of falling in love, which is something I heard Monica Don say once. Yeah, and this also has suede in the middle, which is super sexy, giving that leather accord to this fragrance, that luxury luxurious, sexy vibes to this fragrance and there's cedar in the base. Uh, this smells absolutely sexy, you guys. It's a sexy fragrance. This is a fragrance that I want to wear with leather pants and leather boots, that kind of fragrance, you know, to go out on a sexy date and do something nighttime, like go out, night out kind of fragrance, you know, and this is an absolute beast. It will last forever on you, on your clothes, on your skin. I'm talking 12 hour mark, you know, you can't scrub it off your skin and even after washing your clothes, you will smell this fragrance on it. It is one of the most beast mode opulent fragrances from the collection and Luby Croc, by the way, Luby Croc and Luby Crown both are very good in performance as well. Like Luby Croc is also beast mode, very potent, and it would last like for 12 hours on your skin and clothes, that kind of fragrance. And this one is so, 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 so sexy. I don't know what else to say other than 
that it smells absolutely sexy. And there's something very sexy and musky about this fragrance too. Obviously there's some musk in this fragrance that they have not revealed. Um, that the fact there's musk, I mean it is a super sexy fragrance so it makes sense. There's musk in it with leather, two of the sexiest fragrance notes, you know. Yeah, it is an absolutely stunning divine sexy fragrance so the nose behind this fragrance is also Daphne Bouguet which obviously is the nose behind many of the Louis World collection fragrances very very beautiful very very sexy I would say this is one that leans more unisex but I'm telling you on a woman this is absolutely sexy but this is definitely one of the unisex fragrances from the collection this is Christian Louboutin Luby Raj so you guys, those are the seven absolutely luxurious Luby World collection fragrances presented in the order of my preference. Luby Raj being the number one absolutely divine, powerful, majestic fragrance of all of them. Now it's time to tell you what I'm giving away and how to enter the giveaway. So you guys, I have quite the treat for you here. I have this right here. This is a set of samples, all seven fragrance samples from the Luby World Collection. Yes, all seven of them are in here. This is a set of all seven. Luby World Collection fragrance samples. Let me show you inside. I don't want to touch it too much. This is brand new. I got this as a gift from Christian Louboutin when I purchased my Louboutin fragrances. So let me show it to you right here. Those seven little boxes. Inside those are the seven vials, you know, samples of the seven Luby World Collection fragrances. So I'm going to give this away to a lucky winner. So all you have to do is comment down on this video and let me know what you think sounds like the most amazing fragrance out of the seven that I talked about, whether you already own them or don't own them, doesn't matter. What you think sounds the best to you from the seven I talked about, just chime down in the comment section and tell me that you want to enter the giveaway. Now, I cannot stress this enough. If you don't tell me in your comment that you want to enter the giveaway, you will not be entered into the giveaway. So please make sure to mention that. And number two, I would like you to please follow me on Instagram. And number three, I would love for you to head on over to my new beauty channel, Cleo Beauty, and subscribe to that channel as well and, and leave a comment for me um, on one of the videos. There aren't that many up yet because it's a brand new channel, you guys. So those are the things, three things that I want you to do to enter this giveaway. I will pick a winner within two weeks time. I don't want to go over two weeks, but definitely within two weeks from today's date, I will announce the winner. I'm going to announce the winner first on Instagram. So it helps to follow me on Instagram, I'm telling you guys. And then I will announce the winner on YouTube in one of my upcoming videos. So yeah, this is quite the treat. All seven vials are in here, all seven fragrances. So you guys, good luck to you. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, that red button right there. If you haven't subscribed already, and then ring that notification bell for all notifications. There are three options, but if you have to say, you have to say all notifications to actually receive notifications for all my videos. Otherwise, YouTube algorithm kind of forgets to let you know. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, as I said. And also go on over to my other new beauty channel and show me some support there, you guys. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video.